Esa es la N. Hi all, welcome to SA Overlander. Uh, today we will talk about a legend in the Overland industry. Um, he's been around for many, many years. He is not very well known, uh, maybe in the United States, uh, but in Europe and Africa, he is a very well respected overlander adventurer uh, when we think about explorers and big travel channel stars uh, like Bear Grylls and David Attenborough comes to mind with years of experience traveling the globe and coming face to face with some of nature's most wondrous sights these modern day globetrotters inspire awe and entertain us uh, with a certain amount of envy when we look back at their lifetime of experience and adventure. And then you hear about this guy, Kingsley Olgate, a South African born adventurer with passion for Africa, its beauty and its people. It's doubtful that anybody has explored Africa the way Kingsley has. From her interpretive expeditions to reaching out with his humanitarian efforts, Kingsley Olgate is Africa's own uh, Moses, shall I say. Well, he looks the part too. As the bearded explorer, Olgate has been described by international magazines and most, as the most traveled man in Africa. Born in 1946 in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa, Olgate explains that as a young boy, he would sit on his father's knee listening to the stories about the explorers such as David Livingston and Sir Henry Morton Stanley. Inspired and intrigued by their fulfilling journeys, Holgate followed suit and dedicated his life to tripping around, overlanding this beautiful continent of Africa, extending a helping hand to those in need in Africa. He's an extraordinary man. Um, and like I said, he is a not a well-known man uh, in the United States. But I do believe after this uh, little segment that I'm uh, doing on Kingsley, that you will get to know the man uh, for what he is and uh, what he does. Um, and like I said, he is the Moses of Africa. Whether it's boating from Cape Town to Cairo, using only Africa's rivers, bodies of water, traverse the continent, or circumnavigating the world following the Tropic of Capricorn, Holgate definitely knows how to keep people on their toes. He has followed the original routes explored by H.M. Stanley, Livingston himself, and Frederick Courtney. Touching the lives of locals along, along the way, he's an extraordinary man. Holgate has led several National Geographic expeditions, written countless books about these expeditions. Holgate explains that a constant thirst for adventure and the people he meets along the way has inspired him to continue with his work. And his son is also following in his dad's footsteps. He's a man with a big heart. His foundation, Kingsley Holgate Foundation, is strongly linked to wildlife, nature, community conservation across Africa. He has dedicated his time campaigning against the poaching of Africa's endangered species, species like the rhino as well as elephants. For instance, one of his campaigns as rhino art led to the children's voices to be heard. He is undoubtedly, undoubtedly Africa's uh, most comprehensive children's conservation project ever. This campaign has also become one of the most successful projects extending to other African countries affected by rhino poaching, drawing global attention to his ongo on this ongoing problem with poaching in Africa. But in doing so, he's built up relations with many African countries, many, many, many people, and is still going strong today. He also has a very, very healthy relationship with Land Rover, 
because of his expeditions, or I would rather say it's the other way around. Um, Land Rover has a relationship with him because even though they support him in all the vehicles and all these things, I think the amount of publicity and well-being Land Rover gets out of their relationship with with uh, Kingsley, um, yeah, they got the upper hand. Um, but they are supporting him uh, with vehicles and so forth, uh, especially from way back, starting with the 110 Defenders, and now on the new Defender. Uh, but always, you'll see in the background, there's a 110 old Defender as a backup vehicle, carrying all the stuff, carrying all the spares, carrying everything. Uh, the old Land Rover Defender uh, is still the old stalemate of the Kingsley Foundation and still the workhorse behind the scenes. Kingsley definitely have a passion for people, um, especially for people that is in hardship throughout Africa. During his lifetime, Holgate established his foundation to save and improve the lives of many, many, many people through his expeditions through Africa, um, through with inflatable raft, canoes, foot bicycles, and the lander, and some of the most recent expeditions include the, the Outside X Edge Expedition and the Africa Rainbow Expedition. All these are aimed at giving out mosquito nets uh, and uh, water purific purification systems uh, to the needy in Africa. Uh, to help prevent malaria, because malaria is one of the biggest killers in Africa. I would say it's, it's far higher than even AIDS has killed in the last two centuries uh, in Africa. Um, he also runs another campaign known as the Right to Sight, whose main aim is to provide glasses uh, to those with eye problems uh, in Africa. His other notable uh, achievements, as one can imagine, such a life comes with plenty of its own challenges. Holgate Journey have been s seen him up against dangerous wildlife, bandits, pirates, malaria, epidemic, you name it, he has experienced it. Uh, have he overcome these obstacles has made Kingsley Holgate an inspiration to so many people in Africa. He is well respected in Africa, well respected in South Africa, uh, while he's still remaining a very deeply humble man. Holgate has, inducted, has been inducted in the Royal Geographic Society for extensive knowledge and pushing the boundaries of expedition travel, like we could like to call it overlanding, uh, which my channel is all about. Kingsley Holgate is a legend in his own right, and he's certainly increased our thirst for traveling in Africa. His knowledge and never give up attitude puts him on our list as one of the most influenced travelers of all time. Uh, I do not think there is anybody in this world out there. You, know, you get big channels like uh, X Overland and all these big boys out there, and they have millions of followers on, on, on YouTube and so forth. But this guy is the real deal, and the good that he does is amazing. Nothing is for his own pocket, and that is also his family's uh, outlook, and uh, we should support him. I would like you to uh, go to the Kingsley Olgate Foundation website, uh, and just Google it, you'll find it, and, and support his cause. Um, we, we have no idea how much this man has done for the people of Africa. And it should be more and more known out there, especially uh, outside of South Africa. Um, and uh, we should support him. It's only a good thing. Thank you for watching Isa Overlander. 
I hope uh, that this this little montage that I've done will give you a little bit of uh, insight uh, in Kingsley Allgate's uh, doings and all the good he does in Africa. And uh, please like and subscribe my channel. Um, thank you so much. I feel incredibly privileged to have been born under African skies and to have been born on a continent that is still one of the last frontiers of great adventures. Our expeditions have a clear purpose. They have a geographic purpose. Some of them are world firsts in this day and age, but all of them are linked to doing good. And the byline for our expeditions is using adventure to improve and save lives. People often ask, where does one's inner strength come from to do these journeys? And they're tough. And in Africa, you sometimes have to face some difficult obstacles. I find that by having a clear objective and knowing exactly what you want to go out there and do is an enormous help. That inner strength of a firm belief that you can do it, going at the speed and rhythm of Africa, and then the softer part, using these land over journeys to save and improve lives. The work we do has happened because of the experiences we've had. Every single one of our team members has got into serious trouble with malaria. So we feel it a duty to be able to help fight malaria on this continent. Eyesight, something that we all take so much for granted. We've done with Land Rover's help, close to 150,000 pairs of spectacles. Every expedition member knows that dysentery can kill the strongest man. And so we distribute life stores. A personal life store gives one close to a thousand liters of pure drinking water. Using these Land Rover expeditions to do some good stuff while you're traveling is of key importance. All journeys begin somewhere. As time moves forward through exploration, we share our learnings and pass on our wisdom from fathers to sons. I taught my son from an early age. Look forward. Watch through the windscreen, my boy. Life's not about looking in the rearview mirror. It's all about the excitement for what lies ahead. The crossing of borders at midnight, silently across rivers. So Russ, a blessing on a new journey. To touch hearts as a pioneering spirit is one thing, but to forever change lives for the better, this is what makes life truly worth living. The great use of life is to use it for something that will outlast us. What about trying to cross Chad? New tribes, new cultures, new vistas. And it's not just about the adventure, it's being able to use these adventures to improve and save lives. It's a great privilege to have this time and to be capable of doing great things. Cheers, Rob. Got to say, Dad, thanks for an incredible life of adventure. <laughs>